See when we got, got got her, her collar was on so tight that it was it, it was embedded in her. So we had to take it off with using what water. Barry Piasta rescued his second pup collar. Taffy two years ago. She's uh, she's one of the family. He found her online through a local buy and sell page. During his online search, he also discovered too many dogs being surrendered for minor obedience issues. Noticed on other sites, there are so many rescue groups and so many dogs out there looking for homes. So I started thinking about, well, what can I do? High five. What he decided to do was bring rescue groups from across Manitoba to Niverville for one large adoption fair. Why don't we do one here in Niverville, throw an event, have some information, and see if we can find one or two dogs homes. 24 dogs found homes that day, and in the week following the event, 20 more dogs were adopted. It was the biggest adoption fair in Manitoba. And the following year, Niverville's adoption fair was the biggest dog adoption event in Canada. The goal, of course, is to find animals' homes, but the event is also about education. Got to get it out there, got to get it done. Because of a head injury that affects his speech and memory, Piasta handed the fair over to another organizer last year. Yet he continues to be a voice for animal rights in southeastern Manitoba. I'm trying to show that one person, even if you're not healthy, can do this. You can make a change. You can be the star start. You could be the one that will spread it on to your children and their children and so, so on. Through his own fundraising and a partnership with Pets First Veterinarians, he has created a low-cost spay or neuter program. Piasta has also joined the campaign to build the region's first no-kill animal shelter. I want my, my daughter to see that you, you can make a difference, that what you do can, can ch change the, the things. His 11-year-old daughter, Bellana started a walk to stop animal abuse three years ago and is now making the awareness campaign an annual event. When I'm older, I'd, when I'm an adult, I'd probably like to carry on that tradition and with, same with my kids and their kids and their kids and so on. <laughs> the third annual Nivervale Adoption Fair will be held on June 21st. For more details about the event and for information on shelters across Manitoba, you can visit www.dogadoptionmb.com. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Jessica Cable.